Hello everybody, Warrior Fire here, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last time, we uh, arrived at the Lanaru Sand Sea, uh, as well as uh, got a couple uh, new uh, uh, things we could uh, take care of in the uh, uh, previous areas of uh, Lanaru uh, along the way. This time, we uh, head down to the end of this pier. Got another robot. This one has a fancy looking uh, hat. It seems to have a name. Oh! It's just that the time shift is stone. There we go. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Who are you? Some human from... Who am I, sir? I am the proudest skipper of uh, the, the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Uh, we... uh, protector ship? Uh. It was the day of the storm. Uh, we... My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual, Vern. And uh, then those brutes, bzz, the pirates, uh, suddenly attacked us, uh, sir. They were after Nehru's flames. My crew was imprisoned, uh, and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to the sport, uh, after that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. Bzz. It haunts me, uh, wondering where my ship could be. Uh, we... I'd bet my hat uh, they've turned the ship invisible uh, and are hiding uh, somewhere from... You can't uh, see it. Invisible. In order to protect a Nehru's flame, uh, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. We... You say you're searching for Nehru's flame? Uh, bzz. Oh, so you need a uh, Nehru's flame to find someone important to you, Vern? In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew, if we... If you'll help me, uh, bzz, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Yeah, I'll help. Really? Well, in that case, bzz. Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours, Vern. Uh, if you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart. Wait. There is a sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. Uh, bzz. So, first, uh, you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off a room? Let's go. All right, uh, let's go, room. My circuit sparked to life in the salt air, room. Uh, it feels good to take uh, to the seas again after so long. But let's see if I can remember how to navigate the zerk. Press the left stick to move, is it? Press B while moving to speed up, vroom. Press CR to ready the cannon, uh, weep. Then press CR again to fire it, is it? I placed an X mark uh, over on uh, the island where my house is, uh, vroom. 
There's a pier on the island where we can dock, uh, sir. Yeah, that's, uh, good to know. So let's zoom in and uh, place a beacon. Maybe a little better. There we go. Right, let's go. Um, Uh, and, uh, the controls are pretty smooth. Basically, for moving, if uh, you've played it, uh, any, uh, kart racer, uh, you know how this works. Although, you don't need to hold a button in order to actually uh, accelerate. Uh, only for uh, some extra speed. And, uh, just like that, we have made it. Uh, welcome uh, to Skipper's Retreat. We've arrived, uh, we... My shack is at the very top of the room. The sea chart we need is in my shack, uh, sir. But you're the one who will have to go get it. Uh, there are more monsters uh, about than before, so be careful, we... I can't wander far from the boat, so I'll just stay here from... Right, and we are on our own. And another bird statue. How convenient. Uh, uh, spume, that's what those are called. Uh, these ones specifically, Electro Spume. And, uh, need some more claw shot action here. Ah, uh, regular Deku Babas. Uh, I see that chest over there. Also, you have a uh, this, uh, Flash out onto it, uh, and uh, use as a platform. Ooh, hey, hey, drop a bomb right there. Opens up a tunnel. Yeah, that bomb did some, uh, real damage to the spines of that cactus. Hey! Oh, wow, that's a lot of, uh, uh choo -choos. And, uh, all gone. I know there's gotta be a way to get to that chest. Uh... Nope, that's not it. Yeah, well, it's not. Uh... That big a deal. So we just gotta continue forward. And, 
even though it's uh, not as obvious, uh, especially for those who have uh, played it. Uh, earlier games those uh, things flash out onto are called uh, p hats uh, the crane of time and uh, Majora's mask uh, giant uh, spinning blades of uh, death wind waker they're smaller uh, enemies uh, about that size uh, look pretty much the same uh, although instead of uh, flapping uh, leaves at the top uh, they spin like a uh, uh, helicopter uh, uh, rotor in toilet princess they are exactly the same as they are in uh, this one Hey, uh, right here, got another Moblin with a shield. Specifically, a Metal Shield uh, Moblin. This Moblin has a sturdy uh, Iron Shield. Only a few Moblins are capable of carrying a large, heavy uh, shield uh, of iron like this one. I calculate an 85% chance that you can climb over that large shield uh, as if it were a wall. Yep. Just uh, climb it behind it. Ooh. Well, that I was not expecting. And it's dead. And drop to red rupee. Uh, Quadro Baba guarding his small chest. Inside of which is another red ruby. Can't quite do anything with that. Uh, another claw shot target over there. And I think I see uh, how to get that chest. It's just uh, gonna take some time. Well, nothing can uh, quite do with the furnace uh, right there. Oh, now he can. And down it goes. Here. And uh, that's how you get the uh, info on the P-Hat. At first uh, glance, this looks uh, like any other plant species. But the pea hat uh, has a unique ability to fly when the flower on its top is uh, pulled off with a whip. Yep. Just like that. So, grab on with claw shot, and it is going to carry us uh, close enough. Uh, to get up here. Ugh. Another dragonfly. Of course, still just as tricky to catch as ever. There we go. Ah, uh, and, uh, sure you can see a uh, problem right there. So, bust out the beetle. Oh, missed. Ah, 
There we go. And this the green rupee dropped. Uh, double Fernix. Uh, and uh, there, there you are. And yeah, two of them right here. Just, uh, just how. Difficult they can uh, be if uh, don't uh, deal with them immediately. Hey, next we've got this uh, flying piat. Have to uh, used to get over it. here to next one and. Uh, here we are at, at the top of uh, the entire area. Head up here. Oop. Wait, there's another one to get. Nice. Oh. Yeah, use uh, this to go into a Dive. Though that is gonna wait for a bit. Okay, now heading on into the skipper's home. And uh, some scorpions in here. There you are. And a lot of uh, sand I need to get rid of, so... Hey, a blue chest. Uh, oh, a pair of uh, amber relics. Uh, uh, nothing in that pot. Fine then, I'll just break him like that. Uh, a green rupee. Another green rupee. Uh, ow. There we go. And another two uh, uh, hidden amber relics. <laughs> okay. 
And that's everything all cleared out. And uh, some uh, letters on the wall. Dear Captain, uh, thanks for everything, Zert. Yours, the crew, uh, Verm. Uh, dear Dad, uh, good luck at work, uh, Verm. Hi. He even had one from his uh, son. Or daughter. Or whatever it is. Really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Yep, all that's left is uh, opening the chest. Uh, which uh, has the ancient uh, sea chart. This old map details the area as it was long ago, before the sea succumbed to the desert sand. Master, look over there. That is this ship containing it, Nehru's flame. There is a 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his many crew members. Yeah. Huh. You report, Master. I have uh, detected uh, a bug infestation in the upper area of the house. Huh. And uh, even uh, all shot up uh, to there. Really, it does nothing. So, head out. <laughs> and yeah, the uh, Dan Takata's her back. I can climb up this, uh, oh, not enough uh, to really do anything. Now, we have a couple of ways to uh, take to get down. Got a zipline, a chain. Or and dive off here. This is needed for the chest, so this is the way we're taken. <laughs> On. Let's get it for the first time. And we're good. Inside the chest is... A silver rupee. And from there, we can just claw shot uh, over uh, to this platform. And if uh, we had a uh, not uh, uh, waited until uh, now, we would have had to make that long climb uh, back to the top uh, once again. The dick spot I missed. Oh, just had a couple of hearts, so it didn't matter. Anyway, with uh, the C chart uh, in hand, I think that's a 
pretty good place to go ahead and call it for today. Next time, we uh, head back out uh, onto the Lanayru Sand Sea uh, as we uh, continue our search uh, for uh, uh, the ship protecting uh, Nehru's flame. See you guys then.